Shivakul is just another girl who uh, loves to do uh, what she loves to do. Basically, just living my dream, uh, pursuing what I'm really, really passionate about, and uh, just yeah, just being a better version of myself every day. When I started, um, so I, I believe that I can only do uh, anything that I'm passionate about, and there are three pa three things that I'm extremely passionate about in my life: films, food, and fitness. And these are the three F's of my life. Um, and I started um, my gyms three years back, three and a half years back is when I started took the franchise of this uh, gym called F45, which is Functional 45, which is an Australian franchise um, because of my love for fitness. I always believe that I think it's a way of life. Uh, fitness is for everyone. It's not just for me because I'm an actor and just for me to be thin, but it really hurts me when I see people around who do not know how to treat their body and then end up spending more in hospitals um, at a later stage. So I feel that just to create the right kind of environment to be healthy um, is, is why I started it and also because I don't feel loaded when I do that on my off duty time while I'm not shooting because I love it you know I'm extremely passionate about it so um, then I started my first gym three years back and uh, another one in a year and another one uh, six months after that so I've got three of those that's the gym entrepreneur side and I've just bought a stake in the Tennis Premier League um, Hyderabad team, uh, the season 2 of the TPL which starts in December and that, that stems in from the fact that I guess I'm an army kid. I think for me personally, uh, it has to be something that I'm passionate about, one, I connect to, I relate to and um, it should be able to uh, make a difference I mean if it's a business per se it should probably be able to make a difference to someone in some positive way for a set of pictures um, so I wanted to be an actor but not being from a film industry I didn't know how I was going to do that uh, but then like the route you know the common route is that we'll start modeling and then probably go in for Miss India uh, so that was on my mind uh, right after my 12th I did my pictures and uh, it was very strange that within I think 10-15 days I got a call for a film in the south which was a Kannada film and I refused the film because I didn't even know that a south industry exists uh, my dad did not let us watch a lot of films so I didn't know that there was a southern industry so I refused saying I'm not uh, looking at doing regional cinema um, I'm gonna do Hindi as if I have some godfather sitting there I don't capitalize you know I'm not someone who puts in too much thought in what I'm doing I go by my instinct I go by what I want to do uh, does it make me happy is this what um, I look forward to the next day and that's it you know my successes uh, like I said I don't take my success to my head or my failure to my heart and uh, it's not for me to celebrate I mean I am not someone like that I just love to do my work and then rest the results are not for me to reap I mean I just enjoy the, the process of it I think uh down moments to Hamisha Harke life me hote hai, but that's the whole point, right? If you don't have that down moment, you do not spring up. It's like a sp uh, spring needs to be compressed in order to uh, release all the energy, and it's very important to have those in your life because otherwise, you don't value the success that you get, you don't value the good that's happening around you. Only a person who doesn't do anything will never see the downfall of it. I think everybody goes through difficulties, it's not just about this industry, it's, it's got to do with every profession but um, it's how you perceive life. If you think that you're the only one who's having to face these difficulties then you're going to obviously make a big deal of it um, but uh, the whole fact that you're pursuing your passion and working towards living your dream uh, makes the entire journey also very very uh, enjoyable and very uh, beautiful and I think that's how I look at it. I get a lot of free advices uh, um, so I don't know if they are the best but uh, I think the best advice would be from my parents about uh, like I said follow your heart and you know do give give it your best shot at what you do in fact my dad told me once when we used to play golf that golf is a game which is a parallel to life um, treat every day you know one shot at a time um, you can never lose never lose hope because in the last hole you can have a fluke and a hole in one and you could win the game never get overconfident because um, if you're winning also you can have a ball loss in the end and it can all go for a toss and your life is your game alone